OK, the Polyakov desk cam is set up and today we're going to see how to draw a ray diagram for a plane mirror. And the tools that we will need is a long ruler, this one carefully kept from when I was at school, a sharp pencil, a pen and a piece of squared paper. Now, the first job is to draw in the mirror and for this we'll need to use the ruler and the pencil and we'll draw in a straight line and then to show that that's the mirror we have to put little marks and these marks go on the side which is not shiny so it takes a little bit of time to draw those in And once we've done that, we need to swap to the pen, because all the words should be written in pen, and we can label that as the mirror. OK. The next thing to do is to put on the object. Now, to make life easy, we tend to just do a little circle or spot as the object, but this represents the thing in reality. It might be you, it might be a candle. And then once again, we take the pen and we will label that object. So, light starts off at the object and then it hits the mirror and gets reflected. So the next job is to draw in a ray going from the object until it hits the mirror. This is called the incident ray. So we draw a continuous straight line with the ruler and then to show which way that's going I put an arrow on. As you can see, I've made it hit the mirror exactly on a square. You'll see why I did that to make my life easier uh, later in the process. Now, where the line, the, the ray of light hits the mirror, we now need to add a dotted line at 90 degrees to the mirror, which is called the normal. So I add in a dotted line with the pencil and then because it's a word, I write in normal in pen. Now, I need to draw in a reflected ray, which is reflected with the same angle as the instant ray had. Now, the easiest way to do this is to make sure that it comes back through this point here, and then when it's travelled two squares down, it will have travelled one, two, three, four, five, six squares across, which is exactly what the incident ray did. One, two, three, four, five, six across, and one, two down. So I can draw the reflected ray in again with a straight line, but this time the light ray is going in the opposite direction, so I put my arrow indicating it's going in the opposite direction. Um, and then I need to do exactly the same thing again, but choosing a ray that reflects off a different point. So this time I'm going to have my 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 squares cross, but I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4 squares down to hit the mirror at this point here. So let me try that. and I now need to put the arrow on to show the direction that's travelling in and I need to draw in the dotted line which represents the normal so draw in the dotted line here and once again get my pen to write in normal and then I need to go one, two, three, four squares down one, two, three, four, five, six, out. And my reflected ray must therefore pass through this point, which makes sure I keep the angle of incidence equal to the angle of reflection. OK, so now I've drawn on what the light rays actually do. But over here, I'm going to add in a little picture to represent our I, which I'll label with I. And this represents 
that the light rays reflected from the mirror will enter our eye. However, our brain is a little bit stupid and it assumes that that light that enters our eye has always travelled in a straight line. So I can add a dotted line going back in the same direction of the reflected ray behind the mirror and this is what our brain thinks the light did and we call this a virtual ray. Note that because it isn't really there it's a virtual ray we do not need to put an arrow on that particular line and now I need to do exactly the same process for the other reflected ray. The point where these virtual rays cross is where the image is formed. And I can put a little spot there and label that image. And this helps us to understand why the image is formed behind the mirror, from the opposite side to the object, and we can tell it's a virtual image because it's where the virtual rays cross. Okay.